What is happening, Fisher? So we're back for the next volume of our Reel to Reel. This evening, we're running through the best reels, in my perspective, under 3,000 Rand that are available on the market. So if you have a budget of 3,000 Rand, these are the four I would personally choose to look at. First of all, the Shimano Socorro. Please excuse my pronunciation of this uh, reel. I don't know if I have got it correctly. The SW8000. Moving on to the Pen Battle 3, 6,000. Dowers BG5000. And hot off the press, I think it's only been around for two or three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Akuma Selena, 10,000. Uh, is my first time seeing the Akuma Selena and the Socorro actually touching one. I have fished with the BG5000 myself for years now and the BG4500 for years. And I have fished with the Pen Battle 3. So I know a bit about those two reels. These reels will be the first time me touching them but anyway before we get any further just a big thank you to Bill Moria Fishing Tackle for allowing us to use these wheels for the evening they will be returned to their store tomorrow and besides that this is my personal point of view on these reels we're not sponsored by any of these manufacturers or any other uh, other manufacturer out there so we're not yet to take offense to neg negatively uh, publicitize any of the manufacturers this is what I think I like about the reels and that's pretty much about it so let's get into it guys. I'm going to move the boxes out the way so I can really get stuck into these reels. I'm just going to pop them on the floor. Shimano Socorro. Pen Battle 3 6000. The Dawa BG 5000. And the Kuma Selena 10,000. Okay guys, as previous videos, I'm going to do a little breakdown. I'm not going to pull this into pieces. I don't think uh, Bill Morey will be too stoked if I start uh, putting a screwdriver to these reels and opening them up. So I'm just going to do the basic breakdown. I just want to see what's under the hood here. Okay, let's get... Okay, let's start with the Shimano Socorro. Well, at least it's nice and oiled. I can see that. Got a nice solid uh, main shaft going up the reel. I'll jump into the drags. Only got a single stack drag. So no, no dual stack drag at the bottom. Single strap drag, and I see they have included a little rubber seal to help keep those drag washers dry. So it's going to keep a bit of water out there for some time, which is quite a nice feature for reeling this class. Moving on to the pen battle. Hundred percent always pen pen always bolt solid, solid solid main shaft. And then, of course, Penn will always run the HT100 carbon drag washers. If I can get this guy off here. It's quite stuck. And there he is, guys. Nice amount of grease, well greased from the factory. HT100 carbon drag washers on the top, and also a nice rubber seal to keep the drag washers dry. Well done, Penn. Well done, Shimano, so far. PG5000. Solid main gear, I mean solid main shaft as well, also nice and well oiled, I don't want to wipe any of that oil off. Guys, when you are buying a new reel, make sure your reels are oiled. I actually saw a picture of a reel, I'm not going to name the manufacturer. The guy that fished uh, the competition the weekend that we fished in, he decided to open his reel up, that thing was bone, bone dry, guys. So make sure there is grease and oil in your reels before you get out there. And then Dawa, also carbon drag washers, only, only top stack but also incorporated the same rubber seal as all, of the, all three others to keep those uh, bearings, and those washers dry. And not but last but not least, the Kuma Selena. Dual stack, guys. So he's got drag washers on the top, a nice stack of drag washers on the top, carbon drag washers once again, and dual stack. It's the only reel out of these four that have the dual stack. Akuma have really uh, gone overboard and above uh, with their dual stack. They're even introducing it into their Cedros. Uh, reel in about one and a half thousand rand range. So to get dual stack uh, drag washers on a reel for even under 3,000 rand is uh, quite good. Okay, so other than that, guys, I'm going to have to put them back together quickly. Sorry to waste your time. So we can actually get a good feel for these reels. I know drag wires while I'm doing this, the... Shimano Socorro, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, 
pretty much has about 23 to 25 pounds of drag depending on the model. The pen battle runs in the same, same 23 to 27 pounds depending on the model. Obviously the smaller models have less drag but I'm talking about the bigger boys. The BG has about 22 pounds of drag, it's the least of the lot. But I can tell you it has more than, more than, more than enough drag for rock and surf applications. And it'll always be the most difficult one to get on. The one I've probably done the most out of the lot. I can't line it up. There we go. And then the Kuma, taking it to the next level. They have 20 kilos of drag, which probably equates to about 44 pounds, if my maths is correct. So this reel has a crazy amount of drag. So this you could probably use for some popping or some GT fishing and stuff like that. If you are going to be fishing 80 or 100 pound braid on a small reel and get away with it, the dual force drag is definitely going to handle it. Okay, you've watched all my other re uh, reviews when I started doing rotor balance, sp spool sp spins and things like that, the balance of the reel. I've had a feel of all these reels last night. They're all balanced beautifully, guys. Any reel in a 2,000, 2,500 rand and above, you shouldn't have to worry about anything like that. What I'm going to do now, the Shimano, looking at the handle, it has a two-piece handle. It's only one, of the, the only one of the four reels that doesn't have a wind-on handle. It's got a screwing handle, guys, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I don't like them. It's one of these ones you have to wind, get the handle out. So I can show you the difference. So a screwing handle, you pretty much, the handle's got a shaft that runs right through the reel. And then you get a little uh, screw on the end plate, that side, that you'll wind in to tension your handle up. I'm not a big fan of this, guys. I find that handles can loosen up a bit. But there are guys out there that will argue with me. Opposed to a, a wind-on handle. A wind-on handle just winds straight on. There's no nut from the other side that needs to be tensioned up. So all you have to do is take your handle, get a spinning it in, in the thread. Should wind on, still not. I'm battling here, sorry guys. There we go. Obviously a two-piece handle in the battle. BG also has the wind on handle, it has a one piece handle, which makes it my pick of uh, the choice handle wise in this thing. Obviously a one piece handle, you're going to get a lot less play in the handle, so you're not going to get that little bit of movement and stuff like that, so that's why, that's one of the key features why I'll put this reel at one of the top out of these four. And then the Selena also has a, I said also has a two piece handle, but a really well constructed two piece handle. Really nice and solid. Going back to that, the, the reel knob, the Selena is definitely the lead out of all of them here, it's got, actually got an aluminium reel knob that you will find on five, six, seven thousand rand reels, high end reels. So beautiful, beautiful reel knob on the Selena. Really comfortable, solid, solid, solid. Dawa is a 2016 reel. This reel has what did come out in 2016. So it still has more of the older style T handle, like that, that the reels that time did, but a very comfortable handle, nice rubbery. A material they made it out of. I like this handle. It doesn't slip in your hands like that, especially if you're doing a lot of oily bait fishing and you're not really getting a chance to wipe your hands off. The T handle does quite nicely for in that aspect. Pen, unfortunately, they put this beautiful shaped handle again, but they've gone for the same plasticky stuff that they used on the previous reel that I think it was, the Pursuit. Pen, like, no disrespect, but I think you could have put a nicer handle on. This real hand doesn't feel great, guys. Very plastically. I think if it had to take one or two hits on the rocks, this, the handle's going to actually end up splitting. Very, very uh, plasticky. There must be a reason why they've put it on. They've obviously tried to make some sort of dollar price point overseas, trying to come in under $100 or $150. So obviously they've just tried to save costs with that handle. But I think that is upgradable. But then they'll put this real over 3,000 Rand. and be trying to keep them under 3,000 Rand. So Shimano... Also a nice, like sort of plasticky handle, but a much better quality plastic. It's quite uh, funky looking. It's definitely like uh, the prettiest plasticky handle I've seen in my life. 
looks like a spinner on the older Fast and Furious cars, but anyway, so quite a nice handle. Other than that, all good. Okay, so moving on to some of the internals of the reel. The Shimano comes with four plus one stainless steel bearing. The Battle has five plus one stainless steel bearing. And the Dow and the Kuma both have six plus one stainless steel bearing. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, it does not make a huge difference on the bearing count. If you uh, go with numbers, it might for you, but as long as good quality bearing is in the right place, it's all that matters. Uh, Gearwise, Shimano have used their, once again, the most difficult word in the world to pronounce, Hagan, Hagani, I don't know how you pronounce it. The same material that they use on their Spheros and their Saragossa and their Stella. They've used the gears made out of the same material as that in there. The pen uses its patented CNC technology for their gears that they, they like to use. The Dow uses what they call their Digi gear for their gears. It's all different uh, marketing names the guys use for the gears. And then the Kuma uses a brass gear. I think it's only one of the three that use, four sorry, that use a brass gear. The others don't stipulate what they actually use. So bearings and uh, gears out the way guys. We've run through the drag, the drag systems and that. Please note that none of these reels are actually qualified as sealed reels. You're not going to get a reel under 3,000 Rand that's going to be sealed. So all these reels, if they take a good dunk in the surf or a really wave, a, a wave really hitting them hard or a good splash, you're going to have to pull them open and get that salt water out as quickly as you can. So my favorites, non-favorites guys, the Shimano, my personal point of view once again, I think maybe closer to the lower end of, if it was the lower end of 2,000 Rand, this one comes in at 2,950 Rand, I'd be willing to pay probably 2,000, 2,200 Rand for this reel, that's what my, my perspective is. The battle comes in at 2,799 at the moment, I think it's worth its money. The Dawa comes in at 2699, also worth its money, and the new Akuma comes in at the top of them all, but 2999, definitely worth its money once again. The battle did win the Icast in 2020, best saltwater reel in America, so it is a very good reel. The Dawa I fished with, bulletproof guys, nothing wrong with it, 100% reel. The main feature I like about the Dawa, I've got the fifth. I'm sorry, the 5000 and the 4500, the spools are interchangeable. So if I have this reel with me, I can take my 4500 spool and uh, vice versa. So pretty much with this body, I can fish 11 foot rod with a 4500 spool or a 12 or 13 foot blue assassin bluefish, where you need a sm smaller spool so you're not getting a braid slap on your fingers. And then I can put this on a heavier rod and not fish for even smaller non eds That's the nice thing about it. You get a nice versatile reel, buy yourself a spare spool and you've got a you can cover all aspects of fishing with one reel. Guys, uh, other than that, if I had to choose one to fish with for the rest of my life, if I could had to choose one, it would be very difficult. Listen, I love my BGs to death. They've done me so, so well. But like, I can't stop. This thing is like the slam dangity. This thing is sexy, guys. So I'm going to like, besides its sexiness and it's uh, looking so pretty, on paper, it pretty much puts all these other reels, uh, not to shame, but it is a speck ahead. So my winner for the night is going to be the Kuma Selena, guys. I'd say if you've got 3,000 Rand, go get one of these. I'd love to try one of these out. So Kuma, if you've got a spare one floating around, I'd love to give this thing a bash. Or I'll probably have, end up buying myself one anyway. I think you're getting a solid, solid reel for over th under 3,000 Rand, which probably deserves to be in the under 4,000 Rand price point. Anyway, guys, I hope that was informative. Once again, we haven't run into too many crazy details. Have a look at any of these reels. None of them will disappoint you. Other than that, till next time, we will do another review on the next uh, class of reels. We haven't decided the price point yet, but I think it's, I know we did the, that one. Yes, we did the, we did the cheaper reels, and then we did the reels under 5,000 Rand. The Pen Slammer and versus the Saragossa, so we might bring those back, the Saragossa, the Slammer, the Akumit Sorrow, and then we'll find another reel to throw into the mix. But until then guys, hope you're having tight lines, reels are spinning, drags are clicking, and you're into some good fish. We'll see you all soon. Cheers.